It's always heartwarming when you see someone turn his life around. You know, I got 23 years in addiction. I have 15 years in and out of prison. Um, so I, I've been on the other side of the fence for a very long time. Frederick's experience is one that is being shared by more and more people in Lancaster County and throughout the country. Drug addiction, especially heroin addiction, has grown to epidemic proportions. We're bombarded with staggering statistics of how rampant opioid and other drug addictions have become. So I've been in the DA's offices in Lancaster County since 1991. I've never seen anything like the proportions of the, uh, the devastation that we're seeing from heroin abuse and drug abuse overall in Lancaster County, but really across the whole country. Um, it is taking lives at unprecedented uh, rates. I can't really understate the, the enormous impact, enormous negative impact the heroin problem is having our communities. No one can solve the problem single-handedly, but a group in Lancaster County has been quietly, humbly working at the problem, one person at a time. We do that uh, through loving them, first of all, and believing in them, uh, realizing that uh, they have reason for hope which is often destroyed uh, through the power of addiction. Lloyd Hoover directs Potter's House, a ministry that guides people like Frederick through the transition from prison and the addiction that often accompanies it to becoming a productive member of his family, workplace, and community. I follow God. I, I have a full-time job. Um, I, uh, I attend all my Bible studies. I'm reconnecting with family I haven't seen in 18 years. Living at a place like this, you know, you get to talk to and be around guys who understand you. Guys have been through like similar situations, you know, they're more understanding. They know what you've been through, where you're going. And we all have the same mission, you know, to same goal, you know, to live a live a good life. 95% of our guys who come here are dealing with uh, some form of substance abuse, whether it be alcohol or drugs. Uh, Heroin is rampant right now. Potter's House helps facilitate that transition away from addiction by providing transitional housing, a community to support them, and counseling that offers them a chance to connect with God, the Creator, and the Master Potter. In order for individuals to really find their way through the woes of addiction, they need to experience wholeness physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And aside from experiencing the transforming power of Jesus Christ, they're never going to experience the, the real wholeness and real freedom that is available to them in such a way that they can uh, become leaders in their home, in their families, in, in the workplace, in the church, and in their community. Potter's House participants are provided classes to deepen their understanding of faith, support for participating in a church community, and a safe place to live. For Rob Weatherholtz, that was a new experience. All I had known before then really was broken circumstances, broken relationships, and broken homes. And you know, and that, that was my experience with life. Um, and it wasn't until that time that people came and ministered to me that there, that there was a God that had a whole different plan for my life. And uh, I'm very grateful to the Potter's House and and um, this ministry for, for leading me through that, that, uh, that process. So too is Eddie Dunn, another alumni of the program. What the Potter's House provided for me, first off was housing out of, uh, you know, in car from you know, incarceration, uh, but also a, uh, an opportunity to build a foundation, a spiritual foundation. I'm about two and a half years clean and sober still, and one of the things that I hold important is the, um, you know, is getting up in the morning and having quiet morning devotional time, you know, through prayer and, and reflective meditation, you know, involving scripture and, you know, a lot of these things I, w I started when I was in, when I, when, I, when I was in the Potter's House. But there are more Eddies out there who need what the Potter's House can offer. Right now, men in the program are housed in two locations, one in Leola and the other in New Holland. But a new opportunity has now arisen, which could more than double the number of life-changing opportunities for this ministry. Potter's House is embarking on a campaign to raise $750,000 to purchase this prime land along the Conestoga River and build two new residential houses to expand the ministry. It's an effort called Captivity to Destiny. We should uh, be able to double our capacity. We will be able to uh, accommodate 15 men in beds there in two residential settings. Uh, we will have two homes on this, on this site. It will be a recovery community 
which supports our approach as a family-oriented approach to recovery. The new Stillwater's Recovery Center is critical to the Potter's House response to the exploding opioid epidemic. It will be a phase one intensive recovery facility offering round-the-clock supervision for men working through the serious issues that have led them to their situation. And these folks that are coming out of prison, coming off a of drug addiction, are the lepers of our day that Jesus would have been spending his time with and helping to bring about healing and hope. And that's all we're about at Potter's House. We just want to be available to use our gifts and talents, to use our resources to help people get that leg up and, and get out on, the, on their own again. Potter's House will continue to offer phase two and three care centered around a safe living environment where life skills can be taught and modeled. But being able to place men in a setting like the proposed Stillwater's Recovery Center with its intensive controlled environment is critical to achieving ultimate recovery. The vision for the Stillwater's Recovery Center actually predates the creation of the ministry itself. When Rob Weatherholtz was in Lancaster County Prison about 12 years ago, he gave his life to the Lord and had a vision. I had a vision of a cross, and it was an illuminated cross, and it stretched from heaven to earth. And this presence was in my cell with me. A few weeks later, he had another vision that a property which his father owned, the property which is now available along the Conestoga River, might someday be used to help recovering addicts like himself. At the time, he didn't know how that would happen, but now 12 years later, after becoming involved with Potter's House, he sees God turning that vision to reality. The Lord laid it on my heart while I was, while I was in Lancaster County Prison to, um, that, that he was going to bring forth from this place uh, incredible deep healing for those who are lost or addicted or hurting. This was something that God had placed in my life at a very desperate time in my life, this happened. And, um, and the reality of it happening uh, tells me that God has his hand in it. If a man who's been struggling with addiction can be set free, free to live a full life, a rich life that, he's, that God intended for him to live, how that affects his family, how that affects his community, how that affects his church, not only for this generation, but for the next generation, and the next, and the next. And it's really, a, it's pretty exciting to think about how, how far-reaching one life, one changed life, can, uh, how far that can reach. Potter's House has a proven track record of helping men transform their lives through helping men understand what the power of a relationship with Jesus Christ can do. The people that have uh, sort of abundant sobriety, people that have that are happy and joyous and long-term recovery and seem to be truly set free and not looking for something Amen. tends to have found it in Christ. So I, I think a person can experience sobriety and uh, freedom from prison and all that stuff. They can experience that, but they can't experience life in its fullest degree uh, without Christ. You're invited to move men from captivity to destiny and join Potter's House Ministries' 20-year commitment to changing lives through the power of Jesus Christ and the love of a supportive community. It feels good to, to feel that, you know, that you're loved again and that you're back doing the positive things in life that you know, I should have been doing years ago. I think the biggest thing is you know, there's people here that believe in you and help you, help you throughout everything. Well, my office is very good at prosecuting people and holding people accountable for what they've done, but the long-term solution, uh, the broader solution to this problem is not going to come from, from law enforcement. So organizations like Potter Houses are absolutely critical uh, to winning this war. When the internal condition was, was addressed through a spiritual solution, then I was able to, you know, my, my life changed. It's, it's the greatest satisfaction in in life to be able to see individuals that were on a trajectory towards destruction. And many will tell us, aside from their opportunity here, they probably wouldn't be living today. And we hear that over and over again, that you were there when I needed hope. And we just praise the Lord that uh, He's created some safe space for them to experience that.